Praise 1065. I have a special guest, Marcus Brotherton, New York Times bestselling author. And you have a new book out called The Long March Home, a perfect topic for this Memorial Day weekend and another World War II story, which you're kind of well known for, similar to the Band of Brothers story, the famous movie, and of course, the biographies that followed that you wrote. So this interest in military history, where did it start? It all started about 10 years ago. I had read an oral history project of the Bataan Death March and fascinated by the subject, wanted to give readers an immersive experience, similar to a good movie where you're just sort of uh, soaking in the atmosphere of, of what's happening there. Uh, not so much that you can feel the bad, but so you can experience what they felt and or close to it. And then the response is often gratitude. We're just so thankful what, for what people have given to us. Absolutely, that sacrifice of being willing to lay down your life for others, which we, of course, recognize on this Memorial Day weekend, a holiday in the States. But we have soldiers on both sides of the border that fought together for the same common freedoms that we all get to enjoy. And of course, you happen to be Canadian. I am, yeah. I was born in British Columbia and grew up there. And it's it's amazing, really, Greg, because there were 1.1 million Canadians involved in World War II at a time when there were like 11 to 12 million Canadians. Yeah. So you think about 10% of the population served in World War II. It's just amazing. Canada really stepped up. Yeah, as the Peace Arch says, children of a common mother. And this story about uh, three soldiers that had something in common as well. Well, it's about three best friends from Alabama and they are uh, fighting in the Pacific and they get caught in the Bataan Death March and they all vow to come home alive. And I'll kind of stop the story there. You can read it for yourself <laughs> to see if they do or not. But it's, uh, it's a fascinating story and we've gotten some terrific reviews as well. <laughs> you say that humbly, but I know you've gotten some of the best reviews from some of the most respected sources in publishing. But beyond that, this book and several of your books memorialize veterans that have gone above and beyond the call of duty. Any other great Memorial Day weekend reads that you've written? I wrote a book called Blaze of Light about Gary Bikirk. He's a Medal of Honor recipient. He was a Green Beret medic who fought in Vietnam. Uh, just a tremendous man. He's, he's got a, a good Christian testimony as well and um, became the chaplain of the Medal of Honor Society. And Gary, he's the real deal. He met my kids. He's just a super guy. He's, he's since wow. passed away, died of pancreatic cancer in 2021. But uh, his book is, is really something else as well. And then there's A Bright and Blinding Sun about one of the legendary band of brothers that was actually local. Uh, Lieutenant Buck Compton, he lived down in, in Mount Vernon, Burlington area. Yeah. And uh, he and I became great friends over the years as well. So, yeah. That is awesome. And of course, your newest book, The Long March Home. And where can people find this? Uh, it's available. Just ask for it by name at a bookstore near you, or it's on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com, anywhere online. Excellent. Really appreciate you dropping in and joining us on this Memorial Day weekend. Thanks, Greg. All right. Marcus Brotherton, The Long March Home is the name of the book.